What we do? And look at if anybody gets sick, we can sing. We can well, sing baby, it for it. Well, baby, I ain't gonna eat out my heart anymore. Love that song. Quit. 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 Anyway, back to us. Wait, wait, what is that happening? Back to us. No, we're not doing that. No, we're not doing that. So we had, we we're in our 50th anniversary. We can't do much more. Okay, okay. Susan. What, Bob? We weren't in the Rascals. Okay, come oh. over it. I got right. a little confused. All right, so listen. We're going to do a song uh, we had out in 1969. It was a West Coast hit, uh, which is a bad sign. But uh, we, we lived on the West Coast, so and we didn't know it was a bad sign. But... <laughs> Yes, would you please? A little bit. Hey, Pop doesn't feel his coat off. No, I don't do coat off. He does not take the jacket off. Let me just tell you really quick. This is our new look, or or looky look, because here's what happened. Robbie, the bass player, and we'll introduce everybody eventually here, but Robbie had a wedding, and he wanted to have Bob and myself and Susan as groomsmen. Yeah. So, you know, and... And John, too. Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the rule was that we had to have black suits. There was no getting around that, black ties and white shirts. Well, we went to the wedding, and then somebody took a picture of the three of us, and Susan, she looked like the guy from ACDC. So she had the, the black shirt. And just, <laughs> oh, yeah. My name is Angus. Oh, Angus, yeah, the meat. Okay. And, um, and so um, <laughs> then we look like we're, Angus the meat. Paul and me would look like we're from men in black, so we put colored shirts on. Yes. So, Listen, so, my new job in this family is to remind these two of what they were just saying. I love it. Okay. So then, so we said, man, that's our new look. Because we'd have been playing and people were going, gee, we expected you guys to be in tuxedos. Well, whatever. Or orange anyway, neighbor suits. Yes, our orange neighbor suits. But anyway, we wore the suits, man. The first show, man, about the second song in, I am drenching wet and man, I'm going to get rid of that freaking jacket. Bob will never take his And I got to tell you, we're looking never. at the meats. Never. I got a t-shirt on. I can get down to that. So is that of interest to any of you? I don't know. So this call. What's this, it called? What's this, this, is this? What are you doing? Oh, look, she's wait, got a picture. What? Oh, oh, she has the picture. Well, you can pass that around. Sure. So nice. Don't give her. Hey, just let her phone. What is it called when it's roaming? Okay. Yeah. Oh, let it roam. Yeah. This is called poor baby. Yeah. I want you to all know that we sing.
because they stood in line. Oh, by the way, we will have a meet and greet after the show. Up, I think upstairs, right? No, it's right through that exit sign. Okay, through the okay. exit sign. And we have CDs for sale. <laughs> because you don't have all of our old records. And we are also announcing here tonight on our 50th anniversary that we are making a new record. Yeah! You know what? And you know what? I we, don't even, we don't even want a record label. <laughs> ah, record labels. We're going to be recording in January or, or, or February. So. Well, big talk going on on stage tonight. Here's a song, uh, once again, from our brother Bill's catalog. What are we doing? He went kind of country rock on us. You know, we kind of all split. We went pop, he went country rock. You know, the little Donnie Marie. I want a country look anyway. Yeah, I just want to let everybody know, if we look a little out of breath up here, when we're still singing all these songs in the same keys we were when we were 14. So we're hyperventilating. So man, I'll tell you, we got, we got oxygen over here, I got a porta potty over here. Well, I'm good to go. Wait, 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 wait. I thought you did the bag thing. No, I don't. Uh, okay. I'm doing Depends. <laughs> wait, I can't wait. I can't wait. I can just walk around being like... <laughs>
like, you know, you watch football? Get over here. <laughs> we do it before every play. We just did it once before one song. Yeah. Uh, since it is our 50th anniversary, we're gonna we're gonna leave the stage and leave it up to Susan here. Well, we're not, we're not going on way. But we wanted to mention our brother John is not with us tonight, and the only reason. Well, tell me you set off. Yeah. Uh, but the only reason uh, I hear one more freaking awe about that he's not John. here is because he's a drummer for the Beach Boys. He's got a, job. He's got a day job, all right? <laughs> now get over it. We don't do enough to get him off of the Beach Boy tour. They're in Costa Rica tonight at a private party. I think you could have skipped that. But, no, but I will okay. tell you one thing that John is with us in spirit tonight, and also Bill and Barry, and we're yeah. yeah. and yeah. all the mom and dad. So. Mom and Dad, they're loud in. Uh, we don't know what's going on yeah. up there, okay? We give you our sister Susan. She's a brilliant artist in her own right. She's going to prove it. Uh, I don't remember the chorus in this song that I'm so brilliantly wrote. <laughs> oh, this is nice, isn't it? Everybody just relax a little bit. Take a deep breath. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I do have my own solo career, and sometimes I remember what. It gets crazy. They're inter they're, here's what's happening is that we are getting older and they just keep, especially this guy, they just, they exhaust me. <laughs> they used to, I used to really bug them with my energy. Now they're really bugging me. I'm kidding. I love them, but God dang. Are you going to play this with me, Ross? Okay. So anyway, um, this song is off of one of my solo records, the one I can't remember right now, but is it the first one? It's the first one. And um, we wrote this song about um, Russ's grandmother, Nanny. Oh. Wait, did John just walk in? <laughs> I'm sorry, girls. I really am. And uh, so Nanny this awesome um, grandmotherly Cajun kind of French lady, and uh, it was uh, Russ and mine's turn to go up to um, to sit and spend the weekend with Nanny because Nanny was they were making that call going you know Nanny's on her way out so so we need to go uh, we need to take Jordan to go visiting with her Sunday needs to be with her at all times so we went up for the weekend and hung out with Nanny I'd never met Nanny yet I was the new girl. And she was in pretty rough shape. She was, um, you know, she was not present, and she uh, she kept hanging onto the side railing, and she was really straining to sit up. She didn't want to lie down, and uh, basically very uncooperative. <laughs> but um, I sat with her. My personal time, I was with her for about uh, I don't know five hours, and during my time with Nanny. She was moaning over and over again. We were trying to console her, tell her it was cool, it's okay to go, it's all right to let go, everybody's fine. And she just kept moaning, you know, that she didn't, she didn't want to leave and she had to worry about the babies and the children and, and just, you know, and it was really wonderful. Just, I mean, you know, you just, you're never are ready to, you're never ready to go, even when you're ready to go. So we sat with her, I sat with six hours. We went home that night to the hotel and I went, dude, that was intense, you know, she just, never stopped with this word, these words coming out of her mouth. And they are the actual chorus to this song. So we went, and uh, that evening I, I started writing Nanny's song. We went back the next morning, and we went up to the, to the little front room, and uh, you know, said, we're gonna go see Miss Prejean. And we went back to Nanny's room, and Nanny wasn't in there. Nanny wasn't there, and it was all tidied up, and I was looking at Russ, she okay? He's like, yeah, I'm cool, it's cool. Well, she was very old. We went up to the front and asked where she was, and they said, oh, Miss Prejean is over there in her wheelchair holding court in the lobby. <laughs> and Nanny's there with these jeans on, this fire engine red sweater and a roughly white shirt. And uh, we went, I got a chance to chat with her. She had called me a hussy the day earlier. Uh, I was telling her to lie down, and she goes, don't you tell me what to do, you hussy. I'm like, well, you got me figured out in like five minutes. Awesome. You and I are going to get along, woman. Anyway, this song was co-written by Nanny. And it's really, uh, I think, uh, no matter how uh, wonderful your life has been, or maybe you've had a lot of challenges,
Let it go.